Okay, so, so what's your, your full name? Nantongo Simeon. Nantongo Simeon. Nantongo Simeon. And and so we've been we've been uh, here for a week on Christmas Island, mm -hmm. and we've been calling you Drifter. Yeah. The group has been calling you Drifter. Yeah, what is being calling you that? <laughs> <laughs> because there's a story behind that, yeah. Yeah, I sure it is. So so could you could you tell us a story about uh, about why 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 do we call you Drifter? Well, because I it's true that I drifted. And to the year 2000, I drifted from uh, this southern Kiribati. From Tabitha North, and we cruised for me and two other mates. We cruised to uh, ended up 36 late, days later. We were picked up by a Vesena, and we were landed in uh, Solomon Islands. The Vesena picked up us in, uh, in Papua New Guinea waters. In Papua New Guinea waters, yeah. 36 days. 36 how, days. How, how far a distance? I uh, can't really remember, it's like a three. 3,000 miles in 36 days. Yes. And what, what, when you when you left, what did you have with you? What kind of a boat were you in? We were in uh, like a 24 feet feet uh, fiberglass open boat. Yeah. And and did you have uh, like provisions? Did you have food? Of course not. We the trip was a fishing trip, and I was meant uh, uh, just like a, a two three hour trip. Uh, two or three hour fishing yeah, trip and turn it to 36 yeah, days. <laughs> so, 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 what, what, um, how did, when did you know you were in trouble? Well, the, it happened uh, like uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, so in February 2010, the uh, year 2000. Uh, and uh, like uh, about 11 o'clock. We were trolling, we were catching a lot of fish. We caught about 60, you know, good size. You know, put them in here? Yeah. 15, 20 pound uh, skipjack, and, and uh, it was a bit rough. It was rough. It was rough. Yeah. Engine, you know, the engine fell off. Yeah, funny when you can't park what, what happened? It yeah, our engine fell off the boat. You know? Your engine fell off the yeah, boat? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> How deep of water were you in? Was it very deep? Yeah, I was in that. It was gone. Yeah. The engine was gone. You couldn't see the beach. Yeah. So it was like uh, about uh, six, seven miles of that. And I was in the falling ground. So you're six or seven miles off land, yeah. catching fish, engine falls off. And then right away you knew you were in trouble. Did, did, was there a, did you have any way of contacting people here? Any walkie talkie no. or phone or nothing? Huh? Not at all. No. Not at all. Everybody goes out like that. You know? Yeah. We always think that that will, you know, yeah. we we'll come back uh, two yeah. or three hours later. Yeah. And suddenly, I happened. <laughs> so, so the three of you, the the, the current just started taking you away? Yeah, it was, uh, it was strong. Uh, like I said, it was uh, rough. Yeah. And uh, it was uh, the easterly winds, trade winds were strong. So, you know, uh, like uh, an hour later, uh, we lost sight of land. And then, and then from there, wh wh what did you do next? How, did, did you had fish to eat that you had caught? Well, uh, we knew that we were drifting, so we started, you know, uh, um, we sliced up uh, the fish we can. Yeah. Because we had like 60 or 70, you know, good sized tuna. So we did, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, fill them up and slice them and dry them yeah. straight away. We knew we were drifting, so we. We're you now working on our rations. You know. Yeah, who would get what? How much? How much each day? Did you have any idea where you would end up? No. No, actually, the first, the first day, the first two or three days, we we didn't really thought that, that we would be drifting. Huh? We thought that we'd be picked up, you know, in, in uh, no, third or fourth day. Yeah. Yeah. Search uh, party went down for us. A search party f from yeah, the island went out for you. Day. Maybe. On the fourth day. On the fourth day? Yeah. yeah. I think uh, our family reported us and... Uh, they didn't have a search party go on the first day? No. <laughs> no we, unfortunately, they didn't. But uh, they did on the fourth day and uh, we saw the plane that uh, one was looking for us, but uh, it was so far away. So like, uh, didn't see you. We saw it uh, on uh, in the east, like uh, one foot long, you know, yeah. uh, out in the sky. You know? Yeah. We knew then that uh, 
they search for us. And then we realized that we're really different. Yeah. We're not calling one very soon. No. Yeah. <laughs> so so after four days did you did you, had you brought water? Yeah. Um, the first uh, two days we, we have uh, no, like a 1.5 liter pure water and we drink that for two days. The third day we, we were dry and then uh, we remember you know, how you know, we thought you know, survival. You know, so how can we drink? You know, there was rain, there was a dry season when we left when we drifted. So no rainwater? No, not at all. For, yeah, for two, almost three weeks, there's no way. And, uh, we, we decided to, to try out an experiment with uh, you know, distilling uh, seawater. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that's how we survived for the first uh, two and a half weeks. How did you distill the seawater? Yeah, that's uh, you know, like uh, the normal, you know, simple uh, distilling way, you know, like uh, about two tins here. Um, so our engine fell off and uh, there was uh, half of the fuel hose was left with the tank. So we used that. And we ripped them, uh, we had two Irish cake tobacco tins. Uh, two, two, two what? Two Irish cake tobacco Ir tins. Irish cake yeah. tins, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, they tobacco are, tins, okay. Yeah. They're about, about the size okay. yeah, and about the, the, the tall. Uh -huh. two, two tins. Yeah. So we ripped them up. We uh, we rip down the top of uh, the other one that's uh, our pot and uh, make it uh, airtight. The hose put it on the top and um, come out and uh, we'll goes into a uh, uh, we had that uh, bottle that we had we use as a uh, coolant mm -hmm. to make the you know, to uh, see cool uh, no, see water inside and we make the hose uh, the hose goes through the bottle. Make a hole in the bottom of the bottle and yeah. make it water time too. And the end of the hose comes out you know, there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and that's like a tap. Uh, uh, the tap? Yeah. So, yeah. The, and, uh, no, so it'd be, it'd be dripping, uh, it would catch it and then you could, yeah. you could drink and, it. Yeah. The other team, you know, we just sort of uh, squeeze the, the top uh -huh. so that uh, the top, this. You no, put the distilled water can, into uh, the... You can sit on it. Uh -huh. We fill that with uh, fuel, light it up, and that's our stove. Oh, wow. So, okay, so you put the fuel in here, you'd light it up, it would yeah. heat the water, it and... Put that on top, and it heats up. And, and then it's boiling, and then, uh, you know, the steam in you know, Yeah, you get the steam, steam out and get the fresh water. Yeah, as it goes through that cool and uh, it drips out in the end, and that's, uh, you know, fresh water. Yeah. How much, how much water would it make? Not very much, huh? Um, a cup was uh, no, about you no know, bigger than this tin. Yeah. And uh, you no, know, like uh, half an inch. And, and when we finish that, then uh, one guy drinks it. Yeah. Then we do it again. I drink it. And we do it again. The third guy drink it. And that'd be for the day or many times a day? Uh, like four or five times a day. Four or five. Whenever times a day. we, we you know, so thirsty. 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 But Normally we do it like, after we eat. Yeah. We had our no, breakfast, uh, no. breakfast, lunch, <laughs> dinner, yeah. all Dessert. dried fish. No, it's, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we, it's all the same. If I say lunch, it's uh, the same dinner. Always <laughs> 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 well, the same. And we normally we drink after we do our distilling you know, wow. after we eat, and then uh, in between, you know, like ten o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Um, was there was there a time when uh, after so many days you thought? We're never going to find land. We're not going to get rescued. It always uh, happens. But um, we, me and my two mates, were we all are Catholics, and prayer helps us a lot. You know? Yeah. We pray almost every hour of our, our Yeah. And even at night, we pray, 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 and uh, it uh, help us you know. Uh, and yeah, there are times that uh, we think that I know. Yeah. We'll never see, no. Never be, no. We'll die, you know, drifting. Yeah. And the uh, brain keep us, uh, alive. He kept you going. Kept yeah. us going. And, yeah. Especially after, 
after those boats that uh, we saw in the uh, no left, and, you know, we knew that they saw us, but they didn't pick us up. So you saw some boats along the way that didn't pick you up? Yeah, we, there was the seventh boat picked us up. The seventh boat? Yeah. So six boats saw you and wouldn't pick you up? Well, we were sure that there are two, two boats out of those seven, out of those six. For sure saw they saw us, you? Uh, because, uh, you know, it was like, uh, it was like about this time of day, uh, about six o'clock, seven yeah. o'clock. We were fishing. And we saw this boat and we paddled to it. By the time we got to, uh, no, to the boat, it was dark. Yeah. We, you know, we, we shined our doors to them, and they, they, they shined that to us. So they saw you? Yeah, they saw us. We, we saw the, the guy that was walking on the... No, no. And then all of a sudden, they turned their lights off, and we had them in the engine goes on, and off it goes, you know, off it went. Why do you think they didn't pick you up? No idea, but uh, we suspected that uh, when the... The last boat picked us up. They they thought that uh, they might be uh, not fishing illegally. That, that their boat might be fishing illegally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if they caught, if they if they picked you up, then they'd have to go to the authorities or something. Yeah, and then they'll be you know, in trouble. They'll, they'll be showing themselves. You know. Jeez. Yeah. That's what they, that boat. Happens. Yeah. So so when you finally got picked up, uh, how did you get word back to your family? That you were alive and okay. Yeah, we we ran uh, to no, no, back home and uh, to Taro straight away from the boat and we got on the boat and picked us up and they they helped us uh, contact our family because mm. they they were contacting uh, authorities to you know mm. uh, foreign affairs in our country and the foreign affairs in the Solomon Islands. So that's where they wanted to uh, drop us. Mm. Yeah, we, we talked to them and, uh, yeah, well, we were talk, uh, talking to them on the yeah. phone, yeah. yeah. Well, and what did your, did your family think uh, that they had lost you, or what did they think when they heard your voice? They couldn't believe it was me, yeah. I, especially when I, so I was the first one to run my brother up. And, and then, uh, he said, what? What? It's, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a miracle. So somebody was playing a joke on him. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. I'm bringing from, uh, you know, a boat, you know, from uh, Papua New Guinea. <laughs> That's pretty unbelievable. <laughs> then he said, oh, everybody was, you know, <laughs> oh, make, no, too much noise in the house. He said, ah, quiet, quiet. Yeah. It, it's him, it's him. I, they're alive. They're just really, you know, wow. they've been picked up. Oh, it was really, you know, good moment, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, so do, do you do anything different now when you go out to sail? Do you take it, anything to, like a walkie-talkie to communicate or more water or anything different? Bolt on the motor better? <laughs> First days I, I went out fishing after, you know, which was uh, no, like a year after you know, my drifted. I did, you know, I got a you know, VHF and a, yeah. and, and a GBS. And, but then, you know, we, then we grow up with that, you know, and then after fishing for a while, I forgot all about those things. Yeah. Even more that which we know, we, we will, should carry all that. Uh. So now it's just back to normal, huh? Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Well, that's an incredible story. Thank you for sharing it with us. You're welcome. All right. Thank you for listening. Yeah, of course. Of course. Thank you. Thank you.